Hey everyone, today it's Thanksgiving here, we're making turkey breasts. These are two about uh, six pound turkey breasts. They've already been brined for about two days. Um, if you want to know what the brine is, Google Alton Brown's brine and you'll find it. That's what I used. Setting that aside, this is one cup of chicken stock. So there's two Granny Smith apples cut up and two cinnamon sticks. As well as one yellow onion. And I'm going to put this in the microwave with another cup of water for five minutes on high. We wait for my uh, mix to uh, heat up in the microwave. This is one onion, or one onion, wow, this is one orange. And I'm just sliding this around. This is for aromatic. Just to add a little extra to the turkeys. Also, uh, two celery stalks, and they're just a very rough chop. Again, just trying to get these rounding in. Our stock and all of our aromatics have combined. So I'm going to try to get some apple, one cinnamon stick into each, and I'm just shoving those in. All right, so we've got one cinnamon stick in each one of the birds. I'm just trying to uh, make sure that I get them good and full. Underneath. This is rosemary and fresh thyme. I'm going to jam that in that one. And the same thing on the other one. I'm going to flip them back over. With the bird stuffed, what I'm going to do with the rest of this is right into the pot. Don't worry, I will distribute that out. I also have some additional chicken stock. It's about half a cup, maybe a full cup. Same idea. Just trying to get it in there. This will help keep the turkey moist. All right, and I also dumped any loose uh, leaves from the thyme and rosemary. How do we get our turkey nice and brown? Canola oil. You can also use butter, um, but we're a little health conscious in our house. Um, if you're doing butter, let the butter soften. And then you're just going to apply it and you're going to have to work it into the skin because it will take a little bit of effort. Not a lot, but you just want to make sure that everything is covered. Again, this is to brown it up. I've got my stove preheated to 500 degrees. We're going to put it in for 30 minutes, uncovered, just like that. Again, I want to get a good brown on it uh, before I then take some good old-fashioned Reynolds wrap, aluminum foil, a little tent over it, lower the heat, and cook it for two and a half to three hours. Let's take it over to the stove. You can see, 500. Another thing to note, I've got the lowest rack possible. I've also got this on a cookie sheet. It makes it easier for me to grab and a little more stable with that throwaway pan. 30 minutes. All right, it's been 30 minutes. You can see how nice and golden brown this turkey has got on the tops. Simple quick cover. This is gonna keep the top from burning. Turn this down. We're going to cook it for two and a half hours and then we'll check it again to see how she's looking. Now we're going to set the oven to 350 degrees and two to two and a half hours. Uh, we'll check it at about two. Again, 160 degrees if you have a meat thermometer. We're going to need to let this rest, but just to show you what it looks like. There it is, nice and golden brown. Done. We'll get to cut into it. We're gonna let it rest for about 15 minutes. And I'm just gonna cut straight down and try to find the breastbone. And then I'll just peel it right across the breastbone, which is right there. And there you go. One perfectly done chicken breast, or turkey breast, jeez, chicken breast. That's it. We're gonna slice this up and put it on a plate. But that's one of the thousands of ways to do a turkey, but I guarantee this is nice and juicy. You know the drill. 
subscribe, share, like, give me your comments below. Have a happy Thanksgiving or Merry Christmas or whatever other holiday you made your turkey for. Take care. See you soon.